Hey Woodcutters, Topsaw here. Um, I got three brand new ratchets from Harbor Freight. They're the Icon line, supposedly about the quality of Snap-on. Um, even though this channel is all things wood, I do a lot of wrenching on different tools and different um, things, I guess, um, from cars to chippers to equipment. So I do have a bunch of really old ratchets that are all kind of worn and mismatched. A lot of them are my old craftsmen's from my dad. Um, ratchet so I thought I'd just have a nice line of one series that would all work and work every time so in this video I'm going to go through these new icon ratchets the eight the three eights and the half inch drive and see how they hold up I got three of the ratchet drivers the quarter inch with the flex head the 3 8 inch with the straight shaft right there and then the half inch with the flex head as well. I also got one of the torque wrenches and some sockets. So opening them up, they look really nice. They come with this little cloth, like for cleaning your glasses kind of cloth. Um, they look really nice and shiny. I think that's probably what the cloth is for. So you can wipe the tool down and keep them fingerprint free uh kind of a nice touch like optical equipment even though you're going to get it all greasy and dirty i guess that cloth is to keep it sparkly clean and new looking uh, really nice ratcheting mechanism really nice flex head feel to it um, flex head does have a little torques in there so you could tighten it up i guess but actually the resistance on that flex head feels pretty good the way it is and then on to the 3 8 straight shaft. Same thing, feels really nice. Ratchet's really nice. Uh, it has clockwise and counterclockwise. I think the notation on there is on and off instead of clockwise, counterclockwise. And then that one is a half inch flex head. Feels really nice in the hand. That movement through the flex head is actually just about the perfect amount of tension. Um, the ratcheting is really super smooth, and I just like the way they all look the same. Um, here's my old drawer of ratchets here. I got a crazy assortment. This is a super old ratchet that doesn't even really work. Um, it'll click, but sometimes it won't click back. As you can tell, it's all rusted out. That one's ready to go to the school. I mean, I guess I could clean it, but it's, it just hasn't worked for years. Here's a old Craftsman ratchet I had that I like a lot. And I guess if I cleaned it, it would work better, but the, it's hard to change the direction from clockwise to counterclockwise. The ratcheting mechanism is really cumbersome. And the worst on that is getting the sockets on and off. This is a Husky 3 8 inch drive ratchet where you turn the handle. This thing never worked right. You know, it gets halfway in between clockwise and counterclockwise and you could just hear it grinding in there. So those are out. Um, this is my 3 8 inch drive ratchet. That one actually worked pretty well. No problems with that. Uh, nice feel to this one. I'm gonna keep that old ratchet and I'm gonna keep the other half inch drive, but I might put them in a different toolkit. This is a little 3 8 speed ratchet. I just love cool inventions and that's probably why I bought it. I've never used it because you can't ever get it into the place you need it. I just bought it because it was so cool. Here's a 3 and one ratchet. So this is a quarter on a half and 3 eighths on the reverse. Same thing, kind of cool idea is why I bought it. However, it's so cumbersome, I never end up using it. So all these things, you know, to do multi-tools, you end up not using as much as just the right one. 7 16 is a 11 16 socket. So this is actually an Icon torque wrench as well. A 3 8 inch drive torque wrench. Um, put that 11 16 socket on here. Rather than forward and reverse or clockwise and counterclockwise, they have on and off on there. Um, I didn't know what that meant at first. But I guess it means the nut goes on or the nut comes off rather than clockwise or counterclockwise. So here's the nut. Let me crank it down with the torque wrench. I'll set it at uh, 
I'll set it at 30 foot pounds. So there's 30 foot pounds, of course. So it's on 30 foot pounds of force. We'll start with the half inch pivoting socket. Here's my half inch drive, 11 sixteenths. These things do snap on and off nicely. Actually, nicer than my other drivers. Um, I'll take it off. Takes it off easy enough. Get rid of force on there. Feels pretty good. The pivot mechanism is actually stiff enough. I kind of like that. And the ratcheting mechanisms, nice too. Nice pivot feel. Ratcheting is really nice. Here's a 3 8 with the 11 16 socket. I'll put this nut back on to torque wrench. You turn it up a little bit. I'll go up to 40 foot pounds. See if I can break that off. So there's 40 foot pounds. That's 40 foot pounds. And then here's a 3 8 drive socket. It is not the pivot head. Take it off. I took it off fine. At 40 foot pounds. Let me turn it up, go up a little higher. This is a really nice torque wrench. Uh, it's pretty easy to see, even for a blind old guy like me. Every uh, revolution on this is five foot pounds, foot pounds, and then Newton meters on the inside. So we'll put this up to 50 foot pounds. Oops. There's 50 foot pounds. Let's try the 3 8 inch driver on releasing that. Oh, that came off no trouble with the 3 8 inch driver. Um, yeah, so that's nice. I like that a lot. And then the quarter inch driver. Here are my quarter inch sockets. I don't think I have any quarter inch sockets for that size nut. I'll have to find a smaller nut. So here's a 5 16 by 18 threads per inch. I'll put that, key that on there. This is a quarter inch pivot head, icon socket. These are 5 16 nuts, so it's a half inch socket. Here's on. It's nice, no issues there. You shouldn't be crank on it. Crank it off. Yeah. I mean, broke that bolt. So definitely not too much force on here. Any problems with this at all? So all in all, I would have to say uh, I'm very impressed with my three new ratchets, the quarter inch drive with the flex head, the three eighths inch drive without the flex head, and then the half inch drive with the flex head. Uh, they, they seem to work pretty well, no problems at all. They do have a really nice feel to them, really nice ratcheting mechanisms. Um, I've played with them a little bit in the shop as well, 
and I haven't had any problems at all. I like the feel, I like the look. Um, it's nice actually having all the same brand, all hopefully as reliable as the Craftsman's I've had forever. So if you like this video, hit um, like, and if you're, not, if you're new here, think about hitting subscribe and the bell for notifications. This channel is Topsaw, all things wood, um, but I do rent on a lot of stuff, so I thought I'd do a review on some new ratchets I have from Icon Harbor Freight. Thank you for watching. If you've tried these at all, go ahead and, and put it in the comments below.